summarily executing a dozen captured government soldiers after overrunning checkpoints in the north of the country. Jim, you're uh, reporting there. We are expecting the latest uh, US uh, job figures to come out very shortly, uh, and that's after the headlines. But first, we've got the weather, haven't we? Yeah, and Sarah Keith Lucas. Some other breaking news coming in to us uh, regarding the trial of Stephen Farrow, uh, who denies. Uh, Stabbing a 77-year-old at a home, Betty Yates, in Worcestershire back in January. You may remember that case. Uh, but he has admitted uh, to the manslaughter, Reverend John Suddard, uh, following uh, uh, that trial. Let's uh, speak to our correspondent. And in the last few minutes, the latest figures on the U.S. job market, which could play a big role in the presidential election, have just come out. Uh, to talk us through it, we're joined by our business Obama or... Well, Robert. the devil is in the detail, though, when it comes to job figures. Uh, quite often, uh, we find that uh, employment rate might be up, but it's part-time work that's up, not full-time work. Across quite a range of uh, activities, by the sound of it. They talk about professional and business services, healthcare and retail trade, particularly being represented in this thing. The manufacturing area. For that. Thanks, Rebecca. Now, police in Birmingham are warning that it's just a matter of time before someone's killed as a result of illegal car racing on public roads. Car cruising, as it's called, where hundreds of drivers use A roads as unofficial racetracks, is a problem in several parts of Britain now. The police in the West Midlands have been covertly filming street races as part of a recent crackdown, and we've got exclusive access to the footage. Jenny Hill reports. The government's COBRA Emergency Committee met this morning to discuss the threat to the UK's ash trees. A fungal disease which killed 90% of the species in Denmark has been found in East Anglia. Around 100,000 trees have already been destroyed in an effort to prevent the disease spreading. Well, for more, we can speak to Dr Joan. How are they going to set about treating it? I mean, there are chemicals involved, aren't they? What, what are the specific things that can be used to treat this fungus? No alternative, then, to the policy of just destroying ash trees, not only that have the fungus, but as a precautionary measure, uh, th those that are growing anywhere near them. Mm. A lot of people will notice, because it's had such a, a very evident effect, is... Uh, the thing that's affecting horse chestnuts. There's, you hardly ever see a horse chestnut having a natural autumn uh, flowering and, and falling. They, they desiccate and wither and look really in distress. Um, is there any similarity between what could happen to the ash trees and what has happened with uh, the horse chestnuts? Heartened to hear that about the horse chestnuts tree at any rate. Thank you very much indeed, Dr Weber. Big tree fan, aren't you, Judy? You like a, mm, like a walk in the countryside. Well, the horse chestnuts are... You know, a terrible loss, you know, the autumn, the beauty of the autumn. Absolutely. Oh, it could change the, the, the face of the countryside mm. for a long time to come. Um, let's just remind you of our headlines now. 15 minutes uh, to 